So welcome back to another little blunt lab video and today I thought I'd talk about the little VoIP solution I've been setting up. So this is what I've been doing while I've not been making many other videos. I've also been doing some other small network changes but I thought this is a lot more interesting to show on video than the boring networking part which is basically almost identical to before just I've changed some switches. So. Let's have a look at this then, this is fun. So, as you can see, I'm using mostly Cisco IP phones. We've got the phone sits on my desk, a Cisco 7971. You can identify it with the daily changed cartoon images, because I'm a huge cartoon buff. And in fact, it's got the most speed dials on it, because I'm a, a, a control freak, I guess you could say. I like having all these buttons with things and that on them. It looks cool. Yeah. And below that we have a Cisco 7970, which is my brother's phone. It usually doesn't have a cartoon background on it, but I've changed it simply because I didn't want to give away the name of his company, because that would obviously identify where I live, and blah 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 blah. I've also renamed that CoolFlow Open Close, because that also was the name and company, but I've changed it. For obvious reasons, I don't want to disclose my location. Um, <coughs> or my brother's company to be fair. We have a Cisco 7941. This was the original phone on my desk. I've had this phone years and years. Um, as you can see it's just got one line and a speed dial on it that says Call Adam. This, as you can see, kitchen. This phone sits in the kitchen and it's used as an intercom because, let's be fair, when I've got my headphones on no one can hear me and it's caused uh, huge hassle basically and it's, just, it's got a lot worse because I've bought some new headphones which are basically the best noise isolation I've ever had so solution geeky solution that is a proper solution would probably be just to wear the headphones with one ear cup off but that's lazy <sighs> in the back we have a Cisco 7912 and you can't see it because of my light there you go this phone is a total diva don't bother with it unless you're using the Cisco call manager and then we have a Cisco 7911, is that? Yeah, 7911, which is a decent phone, uh, to be fair. So, yes, all these phones being powered through power over Ethernet, single Ethernet wires. The only one that isn't is the 7912 because it's a diva, like I said, and it doesn't use standard power over Ethernet. It uses only Cisco's proprietary old-fashioned PoE that they don't even use on their new equipment anyway, so kind of a crap phone to buy unless you have a Cisco of like 3550 or something to power it. Anyway, so I thought I would show you the these phones and that, and then I'll show you a bit of software. So I'm using Asterix 13.13.0 um, or Incredible PBX is the actual release um, with the Use a Call Manager patch. Um, let me just bring up this page here. Use Call Manager. Da, 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 da. This thing is absolutely awesome. This patch. Please be up. This website. There you go. This website is constantly down, but yeah. This patch basically makes Cisco IP phones in asterisks work like that on a Cisco Call Manager. You might notice there's red lights on these open close buttons. What's even cooler is if I pick up this kitchen phone here. It doesn't work because the freaking this 79 foot one has some issues. Let's pick it up. I'll just press the new call button. You can see the lights have come on. And the phone has gone into freaking that. For some reason it wasn't doing it when I pick it up. This phone is weird. See? <laughs> horribly delayed anyway so yeah that's that's why this phone is a kitchen phone with a speed dial button because it works with speaker phone but the handset is incredibly dodgy and it's also only two lines and as I can see I've already almost filled up my 7971 there so but yes as you can see all these phones are intercommunicated so if we look on that back phone there see that light comes on I can't get the handset in pick up this phone here, the light comes on, so yeah, all these phones are all part of the same system, um, 
which is very neat. Um, you can also do page in with this. Um, let's do it from the 3912, because the 3912 can't do page in. Uh, so the number you have to dial is a 380, and I can't read the freaking keypad. So, as you can see, the 3971 is lit up, the 3970 is lit up. The 7911 I can't get to do paging and the 7970 is set up for paging but the 7912 is being a diva because it can't hang it up my call but yeah basically the 7970 is not in that group. Let's do it from the 7911 instead. Hello? Hello? This <laughs> is a test. Uh, that's loud. <laughs> So obviously Pagan does work like that. Just a little page group there. I could obviously have that as a speed dial button if I really wanted. But considering I've only got one speed dial button left, I should probably think otherwise about that. Uh, what else can we do? We've obviously got the voicemail, but here's something stupidly cool. Um, so you can see the kitchen extension at the bottom there. It's on both of these phones. I'm going to call the kitchen extension from the 7911 here. As you can see, there's orange lights flashing on these phones. To show that it's ringing, as you can see, at the loft is ringing. Watch this. So yes, I have just answered the call going to the kitchen extension, basically. Isn't that freaking cool? I've also got the Cisco hold music in there. As you can see, it shows the proper person who answered the phone. So even though I called Kitchen 107, it doesn't say Kitchen on there. It says Kyle Blunt because that's the person who answered the phone call. It'd be the same if I answered it on this phone back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this call. I'm going to transfer it to myself phone behind and I've just got a speed dial for that. Hello. Custom ringtone if you can hear it. Hello. I'm gonna answer that. And obviously the person is on hold. Don't know if you can hear that. I need to put that on mute otherwise it's gonna ring. So now just press transfer and as you can see I've got the proper caller ID on both phones, so it's all communicated like an actual call manager. I could also park calls not on the 7911. On this phone here, I can park it. Call parked at 71, and as you can see, the light is flashing, so I can answer it on this phone. Mute it as well, and as you can see, again, things working. That phone's disconnected from the Ethernet for some reason. Hmm, crappy phone. Yeah. Oh, it's back. Yeah, the 7912. Great phone. Not. So, I can also do conference calls, which works really well. So, let's do a conference call. And we'll set up the conference call from the 7941, just because it's right in front of my face. So, let's ring 107. Uh, which one's 107? That's me. I can't ring 107. Let's ring 108. As you can see, the speed dial on the back is actually flashing, but I'm going to answer it on this phone. And mute it. Mute it on both phones. Um, this phone here, <clears throat> I haven't set the extension up correctly, as you can see, because it's not got the right caller ID. But this one does, so that's good enough for me. So maybe this might not be a good idea to do it from this phone, because it's not working correctly. I would, this phone is kind of just like, it's working, so I'm not going to touch it. <clears throat> Let's set up the conference from this phone here instead. So we're in the kitchen. Kitchen's ringing. Mute that. <laughs> right, so now we've got proper caller ID. Yeah, this phone isn't set up to trust the something ID or whatever. So we're going to do a conference here. Conference. This phone's on hold. We'll ring myself. Answer it. 
mute it, and then press conference. Which obviously unmutes it. But there we go. So we now have three phones in a conference call. Um, the, these two don't show it as a conference call. They just show who initiated conference call. Bit annoying, but what's really cool is this conference list here, which shows who's in the extension, and I can even kick people out. I don't like that kitchen extension. So let's either mute them. So now that we've muted the kitchen extension, we can unmute it, we can put this call on hold, we can do everything, you won't hear it. We can obviously unmute that extension, and you'll hear hold music. Maybe you won't. Maybe it's smarter than I thought. Yeah, you don't get a hold music. Oh, that's really cool. So you don't need to mute, but you can just remove people. You get a cool noise, and they hang up. So it's working pretty much identically to a call manager at this point. The only thing that isn't working like a call manager is the multiple lines. I can't get that to work for the life of me. I do have multiple lines on this phone here. So if I remove that person, we'll hang up the conference. You can see I have multiple lines at the top. You can't see it because I've got the freaking light on. Yeah, I have multiple lines, but I can't get that to work properly. I can't do shared lines either at the moment. Cool parking works. The hunt group does work. Um, I'm trying to think. The hunt group is 370. Uh, so it should be just the back phone rings for 370. Hello. Oh no, this phone rings as well. So this let's ring the hunt group from 7912. So it's 370. So as you can see, we've got two phones ringing. This Hello. 7911 and the 7971. Hello. So that's a hunt, the hunt group, and I've also got a custom soft key here, which lets me log this phone into the hunt group. And now, if I do 370, Hello. we've got it's Hello. crazy. There's phones ringing everywhere. And this phone's lost its custom ringtone. Oh, it's really annoying. I do have custom ringtones. But this phone seems to have lost its custom background and custom ringtone. Um, this one usually has, usually has the Tetris ringtone. You could probably saw some of the other, the other ones there. So let's ring 370 again. This is mental. Hello. I think I'm going to call it there for a video. Hello. I think I'm going to call it there for a video. Because that's crazy. <laughs> um, but yes, I do intend to do some more of this. I do also intend to get a Cisco call manager in. And if I do, I want to do a whole video series on setting up the Cisco call manager system. Just because I really like these Cisco phones. They're not the best in the industry, I'm going to say that. Especially if you don't have a big wallet. <laughs> These 7970 phones, well, the replacement 7975, it costs you about £500. Considering you can get an alternative from Panasonic or something for like 200 Yeah, Cisco, I don't know how they even managed to sell a single phone with that pricing scheme, but yeah. So, I will be doing a full video on Cisco Call Manager if I decide to get a Cisco Call Manager system but otherwise I think this is pretty cool for a small amount of work all being powered by power over Ethernet except for 7912 because it's a piece of crap and all interconnected all working pretty much flawlessly unless I need multiple lines which I haven't had a need for anyway and what else conference calls aren't working entirely properly because the people you're calling can't do conference lists and stuff, but it's it's pretty close to fully functional. So yeah, I will see you in another video. Hopefully, it won't be 15 minutes long like this video talking about some phones.